dear students in this session we are going to see about the chapter 1 physical world so what is physics the physics is a study about observable fact so what all the things we are observed in the world so the natural phenomena the study about the natural phenomena in the world is called as a physics so first we see the scientific methods so scientist or the whoever so may be they are first observe the fact so they may be it is a natural uh, process or it may be they will done in the laboratory also so the observation may be done in the natural process or the same thing has to be done in the laboratory by doing a simple experiments by using this observable data they will analyze the data so what is the input and what is the output what is the changes in the uh, output due to the change in input also and by analyzing the observable data they frame the mathematical model or mathematical expression so the maths is a very very important in science more particularly in physics also because the physics is also a main branch of science so the mathematics is a queen of science we have to study the science through mathematical models hence we are saying that a max is a queen of science so first we have to observe the things the things may be naturally occurring or it may be doing the simple experiments in the laboratory by observing these facts by collecting the data we have to analyze the data so by analyzing the data we have to frame the mathematical model or mathematical expression that is a theory so by using this mathematical model we have to predict that phenomena so what is the theory or it is called as a loss let us i take a simple example newton observed that apple fell down from the uh, tree so when the apple is falling down so newton's always seeing that apple is always always falling down not moving upwards so that is the observations it is not changes with time in any place or anywhere the all the times apple will fall down so he analyzed that yes in the all the time the apple will fall down only it will never move up so he framed the mathematical model so that is a mathematical newton's equation force f is equal to mass into acceleration that acceleration is a acceleration due to gravity yes gravity finally by using these three methods only he frame your laws newton's first law second law and third law so these are all the scientific methods to uh, study about the any observable facts now we see the some uh, main branches of physics the physics is uh, broadly classified into two branches macroscopic and microscopic so the study about the macroscopic means which we are all the things we are able to see in our naked eye is called as a macroscopic study about that phenomena that observable facts are called classical physics those things which are not able to see in our naked eye for example the electrons protons and these are all the things so that is a microscopic study about that particles are called quantum physics so broadly classified into classical physics and quantum physics classical means it is a macroscopic study quantum means it is a microscopic study so we are already you know, studied in lower classes itself mechanics so mechanics means study about motion of the bodies so optics means study about the light thermodynamic means study about the heat electrodynamics the study about the charges these are all comes under the classical physics kind of category the study about the atoms and the molecules nuclei protons electrons neutrons these are all called quantum physics now what is the scientist or classify the new branch this is called a mesoscopic physics that is it is intermediate between the macroscopic and microscopic so mesoscopic means it is intermediate between macroscopic and microscopic category now we are going to see about the four fundamental forces in nature the first one is gravitation force yes gravitational force means it is a interaction between the two bodies there will be a mutual force of attraction between the two bodies let us consider the mass m1 and m2 the separation by, between the two masses is r so the force the force of attraction is directly proportional to product of the two masses and inversely proportional to divided by inversely proportional to square of the distance between them so the f is equal to g into m1 m2 by r square where g is a gravitation constant
yes students this is we are already studied this is the famous newton's gravitation law so always this gravitation so gravitation force means the force between the two masses two bodies which is separated by a some distance the some features of the gravitation forces are attractive the gravitation forces are always attractive force and it is a central force so what is a central force central force is a very simple when the forces are acting along the line joining uh, the two bodies so the force on m1 on the m2 is along this line joining two bodies m1 and m2 again the force on m2 due to uh, force on m1 due to m2 is along this line only the force may be here or here so along the axis only this line on line joining the axis only the forces will act means that forces are called central forces so this obeys a inverse square law because in this uh gravitation force it is inversely proportional to square of the distance between them when the distance increases force increases hence the gravitation force between the earth and the moon the earth and the sun are very very larger then it is a long range force long range means the distance is very very larger hence the larger distance the distance between the sun and moon is very very large hence the force is very stronger and it is a weakest force in the nature so known to compare to other uh, three forces so the first force we are seeing the gravitation force compared to other three forces this gravitation force is a very very weakest force there will be a transaction of uh, particles so the scientists thinks that there will be the m1 and the m2 are interact together by the force is called as a gravitation force this gravitation force is due to the exchange of the particle called graviton so all the forces has some messenger particles is called as a gravitons so there is interaction between the two bodies through the particles called gravitons so we will see that what is gravitation force next force is electromagnetic force so electromagnetic force is a interaction between the two charged bodies so let us consider the two charges q1 and q2 so the two charges are separated by a distance r so this force is electrostatic force is directly proportional to product of two charges and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them this is similar to gravitation law also in here it is a two masses here it is a two charges so f is equal to k q1 q2 by r square so in order to remove this proportional we have to substitute some constant so only we put the constant k this law is called as a coulomb's law of electrostatics electro means charge static means rest so the two charges are rest at a separated by a distance or that force between them is f is equal to k q1 q2 by r square this force may be a attractive or repulsive because if the two charges are positive or two charges are negative like charges means repulsive force if it is opposite charges it is attractive force even it is also applicable for magnetostatics also for the bar magnet so north pole and another north pole will repel each other and the north pole and the south pole of the two magnets will attract each other so that is called as a electromagnetic force so electric charges force and the magnetic force is called as a electromagnetic force some features of the magnet Uh, electromagnetic forces are it is both attractive or repulsive either the attractive or repulsive but the gravitation force is only attractive not a repulsive it obeys a inverse square law and it is also a long range force the particle exchange between the two charges these forces are communicable these forces are interactable this messenger particle is called photons so similar to the gravitons the photons is a particle or it is a messenger particle which interact between the two charged bodies this is a reason for the electrostatic attraction or repulsion